Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Brian. I hope your day is going well, that your week has been somewhat okay, if not great, um, surviving that storm that we all had to go through, unfortunately. It was definitely one for the record books, wasn't it? It came in fast, came in hard, it did a ton of damage. Um, the crops for so many of our farmers, it, it breaks my heart to see all the damage that's been done across the state. The trees that have been toppled over, so many beautiful trees that landed on people's homes, uh, just in their yards that are gone now. Uh, people's homes that have been damaged and, and other property. Uh, just, it's heartbreaking to see that. So please know that um, we, as your pastors, have been praying for you and um, we we love you and we're sorry to see you have to go through this. We're, we're going along through it with you. And uh, we, if there's anything that we can be doing, uh, please um, let us know. We'll do our very best. So um, just like you and so many, my family included, went several days without power. And let me tell you, that was a, a lesson in its own for my family and I. So on Monday morning, I'll give you a little story of what happened with me. Monday morning, I just finished our staff meeting with the other pastors at the church. Uh, well, not at the church, but we are on a Zoom call, a virtual video conference call for our staff meeting. So I was at the church on my computer in my office doing that. We had just finished. And I noticed faintly outside that there are sirens going off. So I thought it was odd that they were going off on a Monday because typically they sound the alarm for testing on, I think the first Saturday of the month. No sooner had I thought that than my son sent me a text message asking me, why are the sirens going off? So then it got me thinking, I better check. So I responded, I'm not sure, I'll let you know. So I opened up my phone, I pulled out the weather app, looked at the radar, and sure enough, man, this this storm is coming. It's It's large on the map, on the radar, it's very red and it's coming fast. So I quickly got my things together and got to my house to be with my kids. And um, no sooner had I been home, but for just a few minutes and the power goes out and the storm is here. And we watched it from our basement, just slide our trampoline across our backyard, take down limbs and trees in our neighborhood. And um, it, it was a little uh, frightening at times. Um, but I wanted to share with you a quick thought because it got me thinking um, about my faith through all of this. That um, the Bible says that Jesus is returning and we just don't know when. So we as believers, we say that we believe and we realize it is imminent the return of Jesus is imminent it could happen at any time and we just don't know when um, but I, I have a question for you and that I've been wrestling with myself I say I believe that but does that reflect in my life um, if Jesus were to return in the next hour would we would I be expecting it would I be ready for him or would it happen without us being ready, without us being prepared in the blink of an eye, faster than even the storm came. If you think about it, so many people were unprepared for that storm on Monday, myself included. I didn't have a generator, I didn't have a chainsaw, I wasn't stocked up on food or flashlights or candles and those kinds of things. And so that was shown by so many other people who are rushing to the store to buy many of those items. Um, if Jesus were to return in the next hour, would we be prepared? Would, be, would we be ready? Would we be expecting? Uh, Jesus shared, us, shared with us in Matthew chapter 24, starting in verse 36, some powerful words. Here's what he said. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing 
about what would happen until the flood came and it took them all away. Jesus says, this is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. Therefore, keep watch, because you don't know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect. Just the other night, I was not able to sleep very well because our electricity was off and so it was very hot and humid in our house and I needed to cool off so I um, changed into the living room area where it was a little bit cooler and I opened up our back sliding uh, door off our deck to let some more cool air come in and it got me thinking that if I go back into my bedroom to try to sleep I can't leave this door open because what if someone decides to come in? And I thought about these very scriptures that I just read that, man, if I knew that a, a thief was going to come to my house, I would be prepared. I would want to be ready. I would be waiting for him. And, um, and so it challenged me to think, man, I want to be ready for when Jesus comes back. I want to be prepared. I want to be expecting it. So here's my question to us today. How are we living? Are we living like Jesus could return? Are we living a prepared life? Do we have our eyes fixed on things above or are we just comfortable here on earth and knowing that um, we're not really thinking about it? Do we view our lives here on earth as temporary or are we living a comfortable life that has no mission and no goal? Um, so the Bible has a lot to say about the return of Jesus and I encourage you, and challenge you to dig deeper, open up your, the Bible and to begin to investigate and read more about it if you haven't already. My goal is not to expound on very much of that today, but my goal is this, is to remind us simply and challenge us deeply to be prepared for when Jesus returns. Um, we need to keep our eyes and our heart focused on heaven. That's our goal is to get to heaven. Our mission, um, and our goal is to take as many people with us as possible. And so I, I leave you with that, is that until Jesus returns, we have a mission, we have a, a goal to be able to take as many people with us. So let's tell as many people as possible about the return of Jesus. So let me pray for you. God, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you that you kept us safe during the storm on Monday and that you are providing for us even those who are without power and electricity that you're still providing and taking care of us. I pray that you would bless um, those who suffered loss for the farmers, for the business owners, for homeowners, and so many others that are dealing with um, insurance and just recovering from this, the loss. Would you bless them and give them your peace and make way for them, Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray, God, that you would help us to be prepared to be ready for your return, to live today as if you're returning today and be expecting it and be excited for it. Encourage your people, lift them up, Jesus, in your mighty right hand. In your name we pray, amen. New Hope, have a great week. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Have a great day.